Hey everybody, my name is Tim Cooley. I'm the author of the Pitch Deck book. Super excited to have you guys here. Uh, one of the biggest questions we get every time we work with founders is how do I reach out to investors, right? So uh, what we're doing in this course is I want to show you a tool that can really maximize your effort for outreach. If you already have a list of maybe 500, 1,000, 10,000 emails, if you're looking at using HubSpot or Zoho or some of these other tools, they can get a little bit complicated. And not only that, but they can get really, really expensive. So especially if you're using some of these bigger tools like MailChimp or HubSpot, they can be complicated and they can be expensive. So I wanna show you a very affordable tool that you can use. And I'm going to be using a product called Woodpecker. I really love this for one major reason. And that is that it actually sends emails on your behalf through your email. And that may not make any sense to you, but if you've ever used any type of uh, MailChimp or HubSpot or any type of marketing automation, what ends up happening is a tracker code gets added to your email. And when that happens, that email actually gets filtered out into either updates or promotions or something else other than like as if you just emailed someone directly. Like if you were to type me an email and mail me an email, that actually goes into a very separate bucket. And so what I'm gonna do is show you how to use Woodpecker to actually mimic you sending out emails, even though it's gonna be happening automatically, which is why I love using this tool. And it's very, very affordable. And so if you haven't done so already, uh, in this video somewhere, there's gonna be a link. Click on that link and that'll give you access to 30 days free trial. Um, and it'll also allow you to send up to 500 cold emails. So that's really, really great uh, for you. If you go through their normal process, you're only going to get seven days free. So maximize your days. And maybe you can even blitz your whole uh, campaign without ever having to spend anything. So try this tool out. I really do love it. All right. So this is what it'll look like when you go into uh, uh, that after you've clicked on the link. Go ahead and just fill out your information. It's very basic. It's going to send out, you know, your name, uh, your company name, and then, you know, whatever the rest of your information is. Uh, once you click the start free trial, it'll take you in pretty similar to almost all login experiences. You're going to have to validate your email. But when you bring in, it in there, it's going to come up with something like this, right? Uh, in the first version, it's going to have a sample um, campaign, but go ahead and delete that. On the right hand side, it'll have a drop down and then you'll see a delete button. So let's just get starting off very basic. The first thing you're gonna do is connect your email. And you can see I've already done that here. But again, just click on that, connect the email that you wanna use, and then we're gonna get started. All right, step two is to add your first campaign. And right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a, a dummy campaign because I don't really have any content yet, okay? so. We're just gonna use a very simple three email sequence, all right? Uh, so the first thing you have to do is say who it's sent from. And in this case, I already have my email attached, so I can just click me. So this is really, really important for emails. It's actually required. If you want to have a better idea of when it's going out, you can actually add yourself as a CC. So Tim at pitch us. Dot io. Um, this is I, I, I recommend this as your first time doing it to do this, have it send you an email. You will get spammed, but not don't worry about that. You're, you're just making sure it's working. Um, so I'll leave that there for now. The key here is this sequence. And I'm not going to actually create the sequence. I just want to show you how this tool works and then you know let you be on your way. So we're going to start off with our first sequence. So this is the subject that's going to go in the subject header. Uh, so like you can, you know, when it says like whatever you want it to say here. So, but I'm just going to put email one. Make this whatever you want it to do. Intro, follow up, whatever. You can see here how I have. Um, uh, now, the next part in this is just going to fill out whatever you want this to say, right? Like. So you can see, I'm just using some dummy text, but let's say, for example, you're like, hi, my name is Tim. I would like you to invest. Don't ever say this, but you get the idea from this is writing an email. 
Okay. In the other versions, uh, the the other versions, we have some templates that you can use um, to get started. But for this purposes, you probably already know what you're doing. So why don't we just let you do that? Okay, you can also use snippets. So if you wanted to say hi, and then you could put someone's name, you just need to make sure that when you upload your document that it has the first name field in there. Okay, so next, you just come down here and then you're gonna find add step. And then what you'll notice is that it has uh, wait three days. Um, let's fill out our next email. So we're just gonna say email two. Obviously do not type this, type your own text and then whatever you want your text to be. And then we're gonna do add step, whatever you want your subject to be. And then whatever you want the text to be, okay? There is a lot more you can do with this program, but I really wanna just keep it simple for most people. This is all you'll ever need. You don't really need A-B testing. Um, again, not for what we're trying to accomplish. Um, all right, so now let's go back to the top. We've approved our emails, they're looking good. What we're gonna start doing here is looking for this wait three days. This is where the real power of this tool comes in. So you can just decide what you want your sequence timeline to be. Maybe it's seven days, maybe it's eight days, maybe it's 30 days. Uh, again, it's up to you on what you want to do. Uh, my recommendation is to do eight days. Uh, the reason for that is it staggers the um, timeline. So uh, people are busy on Mondays, let's say. And so if you sent out all your emails out on a Monday, then you would always be sending them out on a Monday. And if that person is really busy on Mondays, then maybe they won't check your email. So what you would see is day one, maybe it goes out on a Monday and then day two, it would go out on a Tuesday, right? Um, and then time three, if we're gonna come all the way down here, so this is wait six days, we're gonna do another eight days. This would end up making it on a Wednesday. I do like that cadence just because again, it kind of makes it like it staggers it a little bit for the person, but that is 100% up to you. And having done this for such a long time, I haven't really seen a timing that has mattered. So it's really up to you. Another thing that you can do in this really cleanly is you can tell it when to send its first email. So you'll notice how this one is set any day of the week. So what it's going to do is it's gonna kind of optimize your outreach. And when you pick this, this first email that's gonna go out is gonna go out sometime during this time. Um, so you can get much more specific, like I said, on Mondays, right? And then you can follow up here. You can change this one to only go out on Tuesdays, you know, whatever you wanna do here. Uh, for me personally, I just leave them all on and let the AI algorithms of Woodpecker do their best. Um, these, when you're doing these types of outreaches, it's actually a very slow process. It's not like an all spam email all at once. What we're gonna be doing is sending out like 50-ish emails a day over the course of time. So this is a much slower outreach plan. It allows you the time to present to an investor, change your pitch deck, present to another one, change your deck, like into, it keeps allowing you to learn. Whereas if let's say, you know, best case scenario, you had a list of, you know, a thousand people and you hit them all up and they all replied and then you're just booked for all one week. You didn't really have a chance to learn anything in between. So this is how we would set it up. And then once you get to the point where you think that all your emails and stuff are good, then you just go into your prospects. Okay. So you're gonna upload from a file. You're gonna upload an import. All right, let's go track, uh, pick up one to upload first. Hi everybody. Okay. Hi everybody, thank you so much for being here. My name's Tim Cooley. I am the host of Pitch Us uh, and I'm also the author of the Pitch Deck book. We've worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs to help them raise capital. I think we're closing up to half a billion dollars in raised capital through the, some of the, the processes that we use. And so I wanted to expand to you guys on how to actually read.
reach out to investors. I used to do this on being a lot more about the process. And so I want to show you tools that you can use uh, that will really magnify your outreach. And I will show you examples of outreaches that are actively happening so you can see the tools that are in use. If you've ever been part of marketing campaigns, then you will know that when you do an outreach campaign through, so with MailChimp or HubSpot or any tool like that, they add a certain type of outreach um, tracker to the email itself. And that email gets filtered out through your Gmail or Outlook or whatever you're using. So what we're trying to do is avoid that. We want all of our outreach, even if it's automated, to come out like we sent it. Uh, or that we hand wrote that message and we sent it from one inbox to another inbox. And that's really important for getting people to open your email, read what you're doing, the whole thing. And so that's why I'm giving you guys an opportunity to use Woodpecker. Uh, there's a link below. Make sure you use that link. It does two things. If you go through Woodpecker itself, uh, it, it only gives you about a seven day free trial. Yes, I get paid on the back end. It's just how we want to keep this thing free for you guys. But this also gives you a 30-day free trial and you can send out 500 uh, cold emails. So it, it'd be great if you guys supported us. Uh, we try to keep things very, very cheap for you guys. So this is one of the cheaper tools that I've seen that's very, very effective. Okay, so now that we've gotten through why, uh, I'll, I'll want to show you how it works. So first is you have to set up your free trial. Uh, so fill out the information, hit the start button. It'll bring you into a page that looks something like this. I think it takes you to a different place. But first thing you do down here is you're going to connect your email. That's really important. Uh, it, you may need to go through this resend activation link, but whatever it takes to connect your email, make that happen. On this page, it says the campaigns page. Uh, there will be a campaign here. You can click on the dots on the right-hand side, click delete. We're not gonna use it. We're gonna set up things from scratch so that we're all on the same page. The next thing you're gonna do is once you've got all that completed, click add campaign. This is really the meat and potatoes. It is required by law to make sure that you have a send from. If you've connected your email address, then just click on the email that you wanna use and that's totally fine. All right, so step one is we are going to be setting up a three email campaign. You can do as many as you want. I think there's a limit with, um, with Woodpecker where it caps at about 12, but I find three to five being really the sweet spot for the timing that we're trying to do. So we're gonna just do three. So first thing here, we have email, it says this one, just scroll past it. You're gonna click add step and scroll past that one and you're gonna click add step. So now we have three emails in our sequence that we're going to use. Now let's dive into this a little bit. The first thing you need to do is look over here on the right-hand side. You can set your timing however you want for this email. Uh, I would just, for the first time we do this, just leave this how it is, don't worry about it. Uh, what's nice about Woodpecker is it has some algorithms that have uh, high open rate timers, and it's constantly checking that. So it will send out your emails to these people at what they feel is the most optimal time. So I would just leave it the way that it is. Next is over here is to start filling out your subject. This is that the line, the title that people will see. So we're going to choose email one, and then this is going to be the body of your message. Okay, so make sure um, when you're setting it up, it also gives you the ability to set up a footer. Uh, make sure you go through that and set that up. I do love meeting links. I love LinkedIn and these things, but you can do whatever you want. And what's nice is you can edit these if you want. So if you know a little bit more about marketing campaigns, you can do some bitlies or some tracking uh, links. Um, but anyway, the idea here is that, you know, this can say whatever you want it to say. We do have templates in some of our other courses, but for this one, we're just talking about basic setup. You can also use snippets. So you'll see you can add a first name. If you don't use a first name um, or if you're going to use this, make sure when you do your prospect list, 
that it has a first name or company or organization, whatever you want to use. But if it doesn't, um, some programs will cancel. And I think this one just leaves it blank. So that would look weird if you sent out an email that said this, right? It would be blank and then the comma was there. So I try to avoid them when best case, but it does add a nice little touch if you know how to, uh, how to enter them, okay? So anyways, you have the body of your email. Uh, we're gonna go to email number two. So email two, and then you're gonna have the body. And then same thing with email three and then body. And if you haven't done so, you can write these outside and import them, you know, that's fine. All right, so the next thing that's really important with this is timing. So if you look at path and then you look at email one, right below it, it has a thing that says wait three days. You can change this to whatever number you want. Uh, and it, it, I will say from my experience, it doesn't really matter too much when you're sitting these out, but I'll tell you something that I like. I actually like using eight days. The reason for that is for me personally, Mondays, are, Mondays and Tuesdays are really busy for me, right? So I may not get to my email for a couple of days, so when you do an eight, it staggers that day. So let's say the first time it went out on a Monday, a week later, it's going to go out on a Tuesday. And then the week later, if we change the days to another eight. It'll go out on a Wednesday. So you're kind of trying to maximize the day of the week that I might see it. And like I said before, these dates can be whatever, or these, these gaps can be whatever you want. So maybe what you wanted to do was, 15 days, you wanted it to go out a week and a day or two weeks and a day later, nothing wrong with that. So play around with these, but from what my experience of sending out, you know, thousands and thousands of these, I haven't seen any like specific timing that's been significantly better, maybe marginally better. And I think that marginally is just eight days because I just like it. So I use eight days. Anyway, so once that's done, you're good to go. And then what you need to do is go to prospects, okay? Your prospects are gonna come from a file of, of contacts you list. If you need contacts, let us know. But you're gonna click browse. And so this is, you just pick up any kind of list. This is an outreach I have for, um, doesn't matter. Uh, and then you're gonna upload here. And then what you wanna do is make sure that the email or all the fields that you absolutely need are filled out. Um, so this one would be first name and then last name. Remember those tags that we talked about would be here and maybe you have a company name here. Okay, so you have company, you have email, you have first name, you have last name. And again, whatever you import will have an opportunity for you to use. So we're gonna ignore column headings Nope, we're gonna leave it that way. So we're gonna import. And this list right here is about 800 or so that I'm using, um, but it doesn't really matter. So what's beautiful about uh, Woodpecker is it actually does some analytics for you on the back end. So it, when it checks for duplicates, um, when it's actually emailing you or emailing out for you, um, so that looks good. Now we're going to go to summary. And then when we're ready, we're going to hit, run. you can do a send a test email, save a draft or whatever. And then you just hit run. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what this actually looks like when it's running. And some of the cool things that it's, that you can see happening within Woodpecker that a lot of tools don't give you the visuals for. All right, so you can see here's a campaign that I actively have in going out. I'm reaching out to almost 11,000 people. These are the emails that have been delivered. So this is a new campaign. You can see the percentage that have been opened. So we're little, this is the reason why I like this, this tool is you got a lot of cool data points. Um, and you notice like, look, 60%. If we were to be using other applications that would uh, do this like marketing tag, 
we wouldn't get this type of outreach. Anyway, uh, you can see these are responses, these are clicks, but for the most part, it's a really simple tool and it's just set and forget. Once you're done, you just kind of come back here and you, you'll you see that like this campaign is going for a while, right? It's sending out like 50 or so a day. So this newer campaign um, is just happening and it's going out. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out, let me know.